Hello everyone, Vegas Vic one nine six five, and I'm here with Noah. Hey, you know how are you? How was school today? A little bit good. Kind of stinks to be back to school yeah. after the holidays, huh? Yeah. Well, you guys got spring break coming up. Anyway, uh, this is episode eleven of our beginner survival guide series, and uh, we are off to kill the dragon. But before we do, I want to introduce a, a couple other new players that are are actually watching this series or have seen one or more of our series. Again, if you uh, are watching our series and you would like to get your head up on the pedestal, let us know. We'll be glad to add you. And if you have any suggestions, like Mortar Money has given us the one on the castle, we're still working on it. Big project. Let us know. So without further ado, let's find out. Okay, welcome back everyone. We have our usual list, Mortar Money, and a host of all the rest of our players that we've uh, had, seen one or more of our episodes, and we thank you guys for watching. And uh, we're going to come down here to take a look at a couple of new folks that we've added that actually left some comments. And a few of them I've, I actually play with on the Adults Minecraft server. Uh, MC Frankie you uh, saw, I think, a couple weeks ago. Melanie Sims also, she plays, I think she plays also on the... Adults play Bedrock server, uh, but she has another a bunch of other games. Me personally, once I play a game, I just play the one game. I know it's it's interesting to play a lot of different games, but I'm kind of stuck on one. Anyway, uh, Noah, could you uh, introduce the last the next two people that have uh, joined us or yep. watched an episode or two? Yep. The first one is Pixelated Twix, and the next one is Obros. Obros actually talked about. Uh, getting a better mic, I uh, responded back to him, but he has not let me know what he thinks would be I'm a good mouse. He has not gotten back to me let me know what would be a good one. Now, Pixelated Twix, excellent, excellent builder. I saw, I think it was through Respect the Kitty on Adults Play Java, uh, a little horse sell, sale uh, area that she's got set up on our Java side of Adults Play Minecraft, and it is phenomenal. Phenomenal. Do, 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 do. It's awesome. And I've seen a lot of the other builds that these guys have done, and uh, they're incredible. Me, I am a horrible builder. For mechanics, I think I do okay, but I do horrible at building. So anyway, we are off to face the dragon. Noah, you have all your items ready to go? Mm -hmm. Okay, I brought, I'm bringing a couple strength potions, a couple slow falling potions. I'm bringing some bottles, and I've done this so many times, and I always seem to forget to get the dragon's breath for lingering. Uh, I've got some ender pearls, eight golden apples. Noah has eight golden apples and also some ender pearls and steak. So I brought a water bucket, but to tell you the truth, this is something that a lot of people don't know, and I don't know why, but you do not need to climb any towers. And uh, I have an adults play uh, dragon kill, and uh, I'm going to be publishing that probably later to oh, two pigs in here. I'll be publishing that later today, and it shows my kill that I did on there solo. But I have enough, if anybody from the adults play or watching, I think I have enough to probably bring the dragon back, uh, I want to say another 30 times, so that should give everyone the opportunity, if they if they haven't got the, uh, the crystals, to be able to, well, 30, maybe, I should say 15 more times, to actually be able to get the uh, crystals to respawn them. Anyway, we're here in our another... Another, another hub, our little nether area, and right over here is where uh, we've set up the other nether portal to get us to that little island where we found it, what, uh, last week? We found the uh, stronghold, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so, Noah, you think we'll do okay? We're going to, whoops, mm -hmm. our I heart's gonna gonna going to race a little bit, maybe? No, not really. <laughs> when, though, we did a practice round, and it seemed pretty easy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we did. We did do a practice round. But oh, we got to go on the other side. Is this the, this is the nether portal, right? Right. This is what we did last week. It's ready for us. Let's go in. Oh, I don't have the door to shut on you. Sorry. <laughs> oh, you were going to shut the door? If there was one? No, and I cleaned this up a little bit uh, to try and keep some of the bad spawns from happening. But we're heading down there now. You know what I didn't bring was a bed, Noah. We didn't oh, bring no. a bed, did we? Well, why would we bring the, 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 a bed to the end? It would just blow no, up. No, 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 no. Um, 
as of right now, 1.15, if you're playing the latest version, uh, I know Bedrock, they've had it for quite a while to where you can, you set up your uh, respawn point by either sleeping in your bed or clicking on it. And now Java version has that on 1.15.1. But uh, I think we're still in 1.14, so I guess it really doesn't matter. But normally, what you do is you'd set yourself up with a, uh, oh, where are you going, buddy? Over here. I'm, I'm fighting a zombie. Okay. You would uh, set yourself a bed next to the, uh, I don't even know where I'm going. I'm going way the wrong way. Set a bed next to the portal for the uh, uh, the end. I'm still lost. <laughs> set a portal for the end, and that way you can, uh, if something were to happen, you were to die, you'd respawn there. Or whenever you do jump through, you'll respawn right there. Hey, I hope we can find our way back through here. Oh, I'm going back out. Show me the way, buddy. I'm lost. I haven't I, been I'm here since last too. week. I don't know where the end portal. Maybe over here. Oh, it's got to be down in here somewhere. Let's just go down in. I know we set it up. Uh, no, not this way. Oop, not that way. It has to be weather. It's over here. I know it's over here somewhere. Where is this? Not that way. Oh! Did you fall? Yeah, you were, you were right there, so I couldn't see where I was going. Ah. <laughs> we got lost here. <laughs> oh, we got some company oh. coming in. Company! <laughs> Come on down. Oh. You're the next contestant on the zombie's right. I think we got a... Oh, that zombie spawner. Is it here? I thought it was on the adults play one. Well, we must have a zombie spawner because there's a bunch of them coming through here. I'm just going to make a little... Um... A little thing right here, so I don't, so we don't fall. I'm collecting a bunch of garbage now. Well, no, and I have to find our way to the uh, the end portal, which has got to be here somewhere. I know it is. We just got to find it. Oh, I think there's a mob over here. No, there's an end again. Imagine if we. Oh, I look down. <laughs> Well, guys, I'm going to take a, a, a breakthrough here Wait. so we can actually find it. Can't believe we can't remember where it was at. We know we're in the stronghold, though. We'll be right back. Okay, and we are back. I ran all the way back to get those eyes of ender that we had that we used to find the place. And then what do I do? I dropped them off when we got back to our place and totally forgot to put them back in. To our inventory because we oh, are going to need it to get this portal going. Right, Noah? Yep. That's basically a trash can. And I'm going to go ahead and pop them in there. Boom. Boom. And look at that. We have a company behind us. They're watching us do this. I see you over there, Skelly. Oh, I didn't even realize there was something over there. And away we go. Three, two, oh, one, loud. go. Jump in. Okay. Where are we? I can't see. Oh, wow. We are... Ooh, nice and safe. I thought for a Because I tell you what, guys. Sometimes when you're going through this, you can end up on a platform really far away. And now be careful. You don't know where you are inside there. You might be on the edge, too. But I'm going to follow Noah. And before we come out, buddy, you, what you might want to do is take your potions. Don't don't walk out too fast. There's, there's something out there. Wait. Ah. Oh, I see him over there. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go ahead and pop my potions in there. We don't need that. I do need this. And I don't need those anymore. Uh, I'm going to do... Strength. Slow fall and strength. Let me see if that's the... Yep, that's the strength. Strength's good for eight minutes. The slow fall is good for four minutes. Oh, and here comes... Oh, and bottles before I forget. Whoops. <laughs> oh, bottle. You gonna get some? I'm trying green. to, I can't. Oh, uh, we got it all. How many did I get? I got eight so far. Awesome. Now, if I can just remember to get those, I'll be in good shape. Uh, we're good for that. Now, notice that the, uh, as far as I know, I don't know, but I can't remember the past versions, but uh, there's the lowest pillars are the ones that are gonna have this, and Noah's doing it the wrong way. I know. You're supposed to actually come over here, and there's a way to get actually oh. fire right here, like that. Oh, now I get it. Kaboom! What was that? 
Oh, that was part of the gate. Can I get all of them? You want to get the other one? Yeah. Okay. And from this point, once you get those, you just pretty much keep an eye on the dragon. You keep your crosshairs a little low and see where the dragon is. Because uh, if he does come towards you, then you just basically I'll get, I'll fire get, at him. I'll get the bottles. Oh, he's going to get me again. It's time to get them bottles in action. Oh, you got it all. Look, I have 19 so far. All right, we have some crystals to take out. Uh oh, a little higher. A little higher. I still missed it. Oh, there's some some stuff behind you. Oh yeah. Got it. You got it all. I hear another one coming in. Oh yeah, clean it, doing the little cleanup duty. There's still the other um. Other one over there, buddy. You gonna go get that? Or you want yeah. me to get it? I'm gonna. Uh, I'll get it. I'm gonna okay. Take that one. I got that one. Oh wow! I didn't even realize uh, it. Oh. You gotta be careful. I'm almost. I'm. All, I'm almost running out of bottles. <laughs> you're doing good. Now, if you're wondering what crystals you've gotten and what crystals you haven't gotten, the easiest way to find out is to see where the dragon's getting healed from. And as you can see, there's two of these towers that he's actually getting healed from. One is up there. Get it out of the way. I'm going to use my bottle this time. Oh, he's oh. pissed off at me. Because he pissed off at you. Oh, he's mad at you. Here we go. Okay, I'll do this one. Alright, I'm gonna come up on this side, come over on this side. Should be coming, yeah, he came down to rest. Let's see if I can hit this one here. Oh, I'm trying to get that. Oh, Got it. Did you get the one where the cage you sure did? Now it's just a matter of taking up the dragon. Oh, he just got through. Oh, yeah. I love them slow pop potions, they're awesome. The problem is actually hitting him. He is so so hard to hit because he's always on the move. Let me say I'm a horrible shot anyway, you know. I got it. You got it? Awesome. Not that uh, one. But I got which one? one? That one from far away. Uh, up top, I see. That one was hard to get. You no, know, we just need a better vantage point to see that one. I got it! Ah, oh, good job, buddy. I think that's probably even, all of them. I didn't even get the advantage point of looking at it. I just shot it from here. And where's the dragon at? There he is. He's coming down. Is he coming down? I'm dragon. Careful now that you're in front of him. He might try to knock you off. That's something you really got to be careful in those wings he's got. I have 63. I just need one more. 63 what? Right? Bottles of fire beads. Yeah, I need it. I, have, I still got 49 bottles left to fill. Wow. I got lucky and hit him. Right. <laughs> he looks like he's just having fun. He just have he, he's just trying to do a nice troll around the around the <laughs> pillar and he just keeps on getting shooting at. <laughs> That's awesome. And we still can't hit him. <laughs> and it's like we can predict where he's heading, too. Oh, now he's on the move. Got it. Good job. Oh, you're doing really good, buddy. Yeah, we're taking him down now. He's getting ready for a fireball. And let's say what those endermen are really bad. <laughs> now your boats are going to do no good. Ah! Ah, oh, he got me too. I got, I got 64. Ah, uh, you got me uh, good. Die. Almost dead. He's gonna take him down. Noah's got him. Look at that. He got him. I got it on camera. But wait before I get some bombs here. Good job, buddy. Look at that. Oh my gosh, so many levels. Yeah. Now oh, don't yes. fall in the portal. I'm trying not don't to. Don't fall in the portal. Now, before you touch the egg, let me let these 
let folks know how this works. We have to we have to click on it and then put a torch under it. Oh, look at that. You missed out on some ender pearls over here. Yeah, I knew, but I didn't. No, I did it, guys. He did it. He started well, we the series. Why don't we do this? Why don't we... Can I get the egg? Go ahead and click on the egg, but don't do anything afterwards. What you do is you click. Leave it alone, please. And it'll teleport someplace close. And what you have to do is... No, stop, please, Noah. What you have to do, let me eat here, is you set, you leave that block alone, but right underneath that block where the egg is at, you place a torch like Noah did. Now when you mine that, the egg is going to fall on top of the torch and you'll be able to collect it. Go ahead, buddy. That's your prize. You killed him. And then you, you, awesome. collect, you collect so you have the achievement. We did get as much of that lingering stuff that we could get, or I mean the uh, dragon's breath that we could get. You How many did you get? I got 25. I got 64. You did good. You were really kicking butt on those. But, um... What are we looking for now? The, uh, the portal to get to the end site. Right. And the, so company, we... the best... There it is. I see it, too. Now your best bet is to, uh, oh, yeah. make a little path up, like a three-wide staircase, just to be safe, because nine times out of ten, this is going to be somewhere near the edge. Come on, Enderman, can you just leave me alone? Well, if you're doing what I'm doing, that's keeping my crosshairs low, you won't have that problem. But look at us, we got very lucky. I said nine times out of ten is over the edge, but this one is not. Now, I'm telling you, we could probably, let me get some of the um, end stone, and we'll use some of that to, to pillar up. Not really, but I, 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 don't I'll... pillar up, okay? You want to build a staircase. It makes it a lot easier. There's a couple of ways that you can get through into the... Uh... I already, I'm already i already building up. You're building up? But are you building a staircase? Yes. I don't even see what the start of your staircase. Oh, I see it. I see it. Awesome. Very good. It's, uh, wow, kind of windy, but that's good. I and you made just one... I'm going to make it safer because... Uh, if Chaos happens to see this from Adstar, she knows that I love making things as safe as possible. So a three-wide staircase will work pretty good. That way, if you're playing with a group of people, uh, it'll be safer for them to climb up here and they won't fall off. Now there's two ways to actually get through here. You can throw an Ender Pearl into it. Or you can actually set down a trap door as of the latest versions. And when you when you get close to it and you go in and you crouch, you'll actually be able to uh it'll it'll lower you like into the swimming position as of 1.13. You'll be in the swimming position and you can actually get through. But we didn't bring we didn't bring any trap doors, did we? Nope, we have ender pearls though. Yeah, we're good for ender pearls. You collect I, enough of those. I, I killed so many Ender. I killed a lot of Endermen and got a lot of pearls. I'm at 12. Oh, you did good. Actually, it's it's a. We are going to need oh. them too. Uh oh. Die. You looked at one of them. Oh, he's trying to knock me off. You see that? Did get him? Whoa. Why is there another one coming after me? You looked at a couple of them, I guess, but you gotta be careful. Oh! He hit me. Off. He went. Yep, he's coming after you. You know what? Another thing I should do is if you're looking to get those Ender Pearls because you're gonna be traveling looking for end cities, another good thing to do is set yourself up with a way to get those Ender Pearls. And we're gonna do that right now. Oh, you make a little, um little uh, hedge and place some slabs where they can't get you or a block that's that's too high for, is that's too low for them to get in that's right so we can actually build this out like this <laughs> nice and simple I, I just looked at it now, man. yeah let's do that let's teach if, yeah. if, for the guys that don't know let's let's do it for them you can look at all these guys they're gonna come after you but since they are uh, almost three blocks high, three blocks maybe, I'm getting confused with the uh, wither stones. They will uh, not be able to touch you. You can stand here safely and get all the ender pearls you're going to need. I think you hit me. I think, you, I, think, I think what you did was you stepped in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> There's a difference. I know. <laughs> Let me see. I still got... Oh, okay. I got 16. I think I used... I tried to use one when the dragon knocked me up. 
He knocked you up in the air too, didn't he? No. He did? Well, you got yeah, him. yeah, actually, yeah, he did. But I didn't use the ender pearl because we have feathers. Here comes one. Come on in. I got something for you. I looked at three. <laughs> Anyway, that's how you would do it. Just make a, a little uh, two-block high space where you can get in, but the Enderman can't get to you. And you can collect all the Enderpearls you want. And that way, when you're out traveling around looking for end cities... Yeah. How about we... Once you kill them, we're going to move on, okay? So don't look anymore, okay? Try not to look in anymore, anyway. I don't think I've got any that are still upset at me. Come on. This one won't die. There you go. Just try not to look at any more Enderman. Let's see if we can go through here so we can show these guys. Now, you're not going to find uh, the end cities here. You actually have to go through this little gateway. And then there are gateways on the other side. See where you're at. Boom. And you got to be careful because you usually end up on the edge. And we got lucky. We weren't really on the edge. The Enderman will be here also. But something else that everybody usually wants is the, the flowers. The flowers are here, the core is fruit flowers, and then of course you can use, if you're running short of food, you can, now, you got, what he's doing now is he's picking up these cores plants, and you can actually eat them, and they'll teleport you a little ways, but if you're running out of food, you can still use those for food, but if you want to bring this back and grow some of your own in the overworld, you don't do what Noah just did, because you will not get the flowers, and the flowers are what you need to plant. Because without the flowers, you go all the way back with all oh, those coarse oh, fruit. Oh, you yes, you can make the, the purple blocks, you know, the purple blocks. Yeah. But in order to actually plant some so you can, ooh, there's oh, an edge. Oh, do you mean the, the top ones? Yeah, they're like little squares. We're going to go up and take a look at one. I won't take too, too, too much time to these, of these folks. But mainly for the folks who haven't seen this yet, you got to be careful how you look up too because these guys are waiting for you to look at them. You can see the little... Uh, little stars in the in the tops of the plants. Those are the this chorus flowers. You can plant those, but you can only plant them on endstone. So don't go back without endstone. Endstone, endstone bricks. That's they'll only grow on those. So you could probably get yourself I don't know a stack of endstone and then get yourself some chorus fruit flowers. And that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna pillar up without looking at Enderman. And see if I... Oops, i got to get my axe out. I don't think Noah knew that. I can't oh. reach that one, but you know what? It's close the music, enough. The music was playing in my headphones. I couldn't hear you. Oh. So I'm going to go back down here just a, a little bit so we can get to this. Here, no. I think it's going to come to you. That's what we're looking for. That's the chorus flower. I see. Awesome. That's what you plant on end stone or end stone bricks. And it will grow into one of these strangely looking plants so let me pillar up some more and get these up top these are all I, I just I there's just, one i just saw one with three and it's very short mm -hmm. i don't know if i can reach that one there nope i might have to go a little higher i got some uh chorus flower on the ground if you want it i don't know where you're at maybe oh. you're maybe you're up getting some right now yeah wait aha can i get it yes i got it that I'll get, the, I'll, I'll get the other oh, ones. Oh, no. Now, if they get stuck like that, no sweat. You don't have to pillar over to them. It's no big deal. We're going to go down now that we know that that tree has no more chorus flowers. We're going to come down. Hey, Mr. Enderman. We're going to come down here, and we'll go ahead and chop them here. And you should be able to get not only... There it is. So you're looking at getting the chorus fruit that you can eat and the chorus flower that you can plant. But again, you must have endstone to plant it on in the overworld and it will grow into one of these strangely unique purple plants. From there you can uh, grow different things. Uh, grow different. You can you can make different things out of the purple box, usually stairs, stuff like that. But we are looking for an end city. And the reason we're looking for an end city is why, Noah? What's for an elytra. For an elytra. And in case you didn't know, I want to let you know now that you may find an end city, but the only way to get that elytra, if you don't have one from an end city, is it has to have a ship. Not all the end cities have ships. So if you see a ship floating in the air, that's the, what you're looking for. 
that will ultimately get you that elytra. And there's a lot of unique right. stuff there too. So I think what we're going to do is, do you, do you want to cut a little of this and maybe go looking? Because all we're going to be doing now, me and Noah, is looking. And it takes quite some time. Now they say that if you once you find an end city, they are situated east and east to west. So you can go east and go west and find more of them. They're kind of laid out like on a grid. Uh, it doesn't always work that way, but I have seen that, and some people do say this, so don't hold me to it. But that's what I've been told, and that's what I've seen so far. Basically, we just go around and take a look. As you can see, here's another gateway, and as you're making way through, you'll run across these gateways every now and then. And guess what I see in the distance, Noah? Men City? Yes. There he is, Mr. Enderman's coming over. Now let's see if we're able to, to go there, or do we have to ender pearl there? I got my ender pearls ready. I have 20 um, flowers. It looks like we're going to have to ender pearl over. Oh, I see you. I, um... And of course you take a little damage when you do ender pearl. No big deal. Bring some food, or the core is fruit. Not the flower, the core is fruit. You can eat that too. It teleports you a little bit. You don't want to be eating that on the edge, but it will not teleport you to the void. It just will teleport you a little distance. Now, one of the things you two have to worry about when you're going after an end city is the shulkers. The shulkers will fire these little projectiles at you, and that will give you levitation effect. If you're inside, no big deal. But if you're outside hovering over the void, hmm, that's a big deal. So, by yeah. doing looting, on hitting these guys with looting, we'd stand a good chance of getting the shulker shells and making ourselves some shulkers. This is what, this is the, this is what I think he's have. after you. Yeah. Can, you. Can we show them what, what, what happens? See, if you levitate, Let me see. if you levitate and uh -huh. there's some, there's some top and, and there's something right here. Oh, he's mad at you. <laughs> you can actually uh, use your ender pearls too. If you start levitating... Is that what you're trying to say? Or no. you get underneath? Yeah, you can get yeah. underneath something so you don't fly, go right. too high and die. Right. I don't think we were lucky enough to find a ship on this one, buddy. Oh. I do not see a ship. That's not, not good no. news. But we can... Uh, let me see if I got any shulker oh, shells. Oh, sorry. You got me. I'm on fire! Yeah, we did. We get two shulker shells. Now, what I don't know of, if I bet I didn't bring any with me. I'm a dummy. I'm a dummy. Before, if you're watching this, before you go, make sure you bring yourself some chests. Single chests are what you need because you can take in your uh, and a crafting table because what you'll do is you'll set your, your, your chest in the center block of your crafting table, your 9 by 9 grid, or 3 by 3 grid. Put one shulker, shulker shell on top, one shulker shell on the bottom, and you'll have yourself a shulker box. And that shulker box can be broken with anything. Unlike the ender chest, where I got to make sure it's a silk touch. Yes, thank you. What you got? What happened, I, I used the projectile for my advantage to get up. Oh, nice! I made the shulker hit me, and <laughs> you're using it to your advantage. Yep. I don't see anything yet. Uh -oh. Ooh. Maybe there's some flags. Yep, there's flags. We do sometimes block the up. flags, right? I'm horrible at this parkour stuff, Noah. <laughs> uh, Let me see. That might, that might be easier. There we go. Get on. Did you already kill all the shulkers in here? Yeah, I think so. Ah. Uh, oh! Well, the only thing we can do now is, is attempt to look for another end city. I'm actually surprised we, we found one, because usually it takes quite a while. But now we know that we found one. We can test the theory and go east or west from here to see if they're uh, they've lined up. Uh oh, uh oh, I was hitting something. I think I got four um, magenta banner, black inverted chevron, and black chevron. Ah, boom! That's no fun. Anything else up there? Nope. Good. There's no reason for me to go back up because I am horrible at parkour. But I'll take you don't want to do the parkour. <laughs> You're good. Noah's really good at parkour. Well, that's the end of that end city. And unfortunately, I needed a chance, didn't get a chance to show these guys the um, hmm. the elytra hanging on the wall. 
Dude, you gotta stop looking at those Endermen. They're really to. upset at you. <laughs> Why can't I just kill these? We did a, a test run uh, last week. He wanted to do a test run on this because he was... Were you nervous? No. Okay. I just wanted to have a little bit more fun. I was bored. Alright, so real quickly, uh, I'm, I'm going to probably... We're gonna probably going to end it right here. But I wanted to see what direction we were facing. We're facing south. So there's east. I'm going to mark this. Uh oh This is east. So, of course, behind me would be west, even though there's no sun in the end here to look at. So, I'm guessing that um, if we travel in that direction, east or west, that we should run into them. Now, since we don't have an elytra, uh, it's, it's, we're not going to be able to make a straight shot. We'll have to end up doing some uh, jumping and using the ender pearls going from island to island. But what anyway, I, I really hope... Yes, buddy, what's up? Oh, what about the fireworks? We You can use the fireworks for a flight duration... To let you stay up in the air. You know, a long time ago, Zumavoid actually made a, uh, he did a little, in his myth busting series, he did a test on the flight duration 1, 2, and 3, and found that uh, there's really not that much difference. The The amount of gunpowder that you're using to make the additional uh, three? distance is not really worth it, because I believe it was 28 more or 20, I'm sorry, 20 more blocks distance with a flight duration 2 and 28 blocks from, and if you had, let's say you had flight duration 1 and it took you 40 blocks. With flight duration 2, it'll take you 60 blocks. With flight duration 3, it'll take you 68 blocks. So was it really worth it putting all that gunpowder into flight duration 2 or 3? Maybe 2. Yeah, 2 is better. But I, I would I would say that I would probably still stick with with one. I can make twice as many. If you think about it, it's, this is the easiest way to look at it. I can make twice as many rockets with flight duration one as I can make with flight duration two. Mm -hmm. And still, by using two rockets, I can go, let's if it was 40 blocks distance, I can go 80 blocks. Flight duration two, using also two gunpowder, you're only going 20 more blocks. It's 60. So I can go 80 blocks using the same amount of gunpowder. I'll stick with flight duration one, but it's up to you. But anyway, guys, I don't want to hold you up any longer. We've kind of dragged this on a little bit. I hope you learned something about the end if you didn't know already. Uh, again, if you're going to the end, you don't need to pillar up on those towers. Just go for the corners. Aim right between there. You saw my very first shot, knocked out that first tower, and then Noah did the same thing on the next one. That's the ones that are actually caged in. And again... To find out if you got all the towers, watch the dragon. Watch him fly around. If he's get, if you don't see any healing beams heading towards him, then you got it. If you do, then you know which ones to, to work on taking out, right? Mm -hmm. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video from me and Noah on our Beginner Survival Guide series, feel free to click, to click the like button if you would like to subscribe for future videos. Uh, we are going to go back and start working on our castle build from Mortar Money's idea. If you would like to subscribe for future videos, click the subscribe button. I've kind of made it easy. Down in the bottom right, I made a new subscribe button with a little cute B in it for the latest update at 1.15.1. So... Uh, we make videos every Wednesday, uh, usually in the evening, and have them edited and out by early, early Thursday morning. I hope you enjoyed this taking on the dragon. Hopefully, by next episode, Noah and I will have found our elytra. Mm -hmm. So, right? Mm -hmm. Anything you want to add, buddy? No, not really. Nothing? We cut it all covered about the, the shulkers and all that stuff, you think? Yeah. If they didn't, I'm sure they'll ask us down in the, in the comments below. At least I hope they do. What about what about the the dragon head, the the dragon head on the ship? Oh, that's exactly right. See, and there's the something potions. Noah. And the potions in the ship. That's right. There's usually potions. There's a dragon head on the end of every single ship that you find in an end city that has a ship. And I'm glad no no I mentioned that. That's where you get that. Unless of course you have a mod pack that where the dragon drops the head when. You kill them. Anyway, guys, we've held it up long enough. Uh, until next week, thank you very much for watching. Noah and I will see you then. Goodbye. Bye.